Welcome to Oxford Earth Sciences Open Day. It's really frustrating that we can't welcome you in person right now, but we wanted to give you a bit of a virtual tour to provide some insight into our department and what you can expect to find here. On our normal open days, our staff and students would be there to welcome you. You'd have the opportunity to meet lecturers, ask questions and talk to our researchers, not just to learn about the undergraduate course, but also hear about the latest cutting edge science that they've been working on. Even though we're not able to meet you in person, we have a whole host of lecturers and current students online today to answer your questions live. So we hope you'll take the opportunity to talk to us and find out more. The Earth Sciences Building at Oxford was purpose-built in 2012, with everything tailored towards providing state-of-the-art teaching and research facilities. We have two main seminar rooms where students receive the bulk of their lectures. In your first and second year, you can expect to have around 8 to 10 lectures per week, covering a wide array of topics. The emphasis on teaching in Oxford is not just about feeding you information or getting you through exams, it's more about training you to think, to solve problems and to apply your new understanding to new situations. A major part of our course involves practical classes. Students can expect to have around 4 or 5 lab or computer based practicals each week in our teaching labs. These interactive classes are led by lecturers and assisted by two or three graduate student demonstrators who are on hand to answer questions and help guide you through the exercises. Lab-based practicals cover a variety of activities including microscopy, where you will study fossils and thin sections of rocks and minerals under polarised light. Practical classes can also involve understanding and drawing geological maps, studying rocks and fossils in hand specimen, as well as computational maths-based exercises. At Oxford, we don't just want to provide you with all the answers or materials, it is important that our students get a full understanding of how we derive these answers, so we encourage our undergrads to get hands-on with their degree. We have a set of basement labs in our building where technical staff work to prepare teaching materials, such as the rock-thin sections which students use in their practical classes. Part of their third year mapping project, students have the opportunity to prepare their own rock samples for microscope analysis and are trained up on how to cut, crush and polish samples for scientific investigation. Here we are in the library. Shh. We're really lucky to have our own in-house Earth Sciences Library. We keep multiple copies of the most popular course textbooks, as well as a whole host of supporting resources, journals, geological maps and a new section on careers and diversity in Earth Sciences. If you need an item from your coursework and can't find it, our librarian Elizabeth is on hand to help you out. The library also provides an ideal quiet working space for all our undergraduates, which can be accessed at all hours of the day. A major reason for the success of our undergraduate course is its close link between research and teaching. As an undergraduate, you spend the first couple of years of your course learning the fundamentals of Earth Sciences. But in your fourth year, you get to really put these to the test by joining our researchers to undertake your own independent research project. Students are able to pick their desired project based on the areas of Earth Sciences which interest them the most. This could be anything from oceanography and past climates, to understanding earthquake mechanics, volcanology, paleontology or mineral chemistry to name but a few. Projects may be field, computer or lab based, but will involve working closely with a supervisor throughout the course of the fourth year to analyse your results and produce a detailed assessed report. As an Oxford Earth Scientist, you won't just undertake lectures and research. The course and projects are designed to equip you with essential skills such as problem solving, project and time management, an ability to think and work independently as well as part of a team, and to communicate your science confidently to the wider world. Being a relatively small department, we pride ourselves on also being a really friendly community. In each undergraduate year group, there are roughly 35 students. This means you'll all get to know each other really well through field trips, tutorials, lecturers and practical classes. But it also means you'll get to know your lecturers, researchers and postgraduate students well too. We hope this gives you a bit of a taste of our department. If you have any questions, you can find out more on our website. And please don't hesitate to get in touch with us.